Hello, this is Elaine with Antelope Beads, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Spanish knot. This is a really fun decorative knot, and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to show you how to make a keychain using this knot. So, what I'll do is take my piece of leather, string on a bead that will be at the end of my keychain, and center it like this. And then I'll go ahead and just put this loop right in the clamp of the on the knotty do-it-all board. And I'm going to start making a knot right off the bat. And to do that, I'm going to go take the right side and go under the left side. Then I'm going to bring the right side over both of the other pieces of leather. I'm going to pinch it right here. It looks like a pretzel, right at the top of the pretzel. And then I'll bring my left side over everything, under everything, and then through the bottom loop of the pretzel. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this tight. And it looks a little bit crazy when we're pulling it, but it really does make a nice, very pretty knot. Let's do that again. First of all, I'm going to check and make sure my bead is going to hang right. That looks really good. I'm happy with that. Okay. So I'm always going to work from the same side. Under, over, to make a pretzel. Pinch the top of the pretzel. Bring the other side over under everything and then through the bottom loop of the pretzel and then pull both ends tight and it looks pretty sloppy when we're pulling it but it just tightens up beautifully let's do a couple more here under over pinch the top of the pretzel over under and through the bottom loop of the pretzel and pull it tight. We have room for a couple more here. Under, over, pinch, over, under, and pull. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can get two more knots here. Under, over, over, under, and through, and pull, okay? Now this is gonna be my last knot, and I'm gonna go ahead and attach the ring as I finish this. So again, I'm gonna go under, over, and then over and under and through. I'm not going to tighten it quite yet. I'm going to take this end of the ring, put it over one of the pieces of leather, and then I'm going to insert that loop back into the ring, and then I'm going to tighten the knot. Okay. And this is going to take just a little bit of maneuvering because I've added an extra loop into the knot. So that looks pretty good. Now, because this is a keychain and I want it to be really, really secure, I'm going to go ahead and take this piece that I put underneath and I'm going to bring it over, around, and back up through this loop. So I'm just kind of following the weave a little bit to make sure that end is really secure and not going to come out. So I've got both pieces coming up from the top here. So to finish this, I'm just going to cut the leather at the point where it comes out of the knot. And I'm going to glue those two ends with some super new glue. I'm going to try to get it right, not only at the end, but also right into that knot. And when that dries, 
between the knotting and the super new glue, that's going to be really, really secure. And here is your little keychain. Okay. I have some other samples here using the Spanish knot. This bracelet has knots between a string of uh, frame beads with a little bre a little sea glass bead in the middle of the frame. And for this particular case, I needed to string the beads on something, so I have a piece of wax nylon cord running down through the middle of the, this bracelet. This is exactly the same technique as we use for the basic square knot macrame bracelet. So please take a look at that video. This bracelet has some Spanish knots around some five millimeter flat leather. And we started at one point and then we went ahead and did about four knots, added a slide, four more knots, added a slide, so on. And then we added a couple other knots on either side. And we finished these exactly the way we did with the coil knot, which is also found in another video. This knot is just so versatile. These are just a couple of little samplers. Here is a sample of what the Spanish knot looks like with two strands of leather. And this is what it looks like with two strands of leather if we kind of spread the knots out a little bit. This could just be a beautiful, beautiful bracelet, especially with a metallic cord. Here's a sample of what happens if we put two beads on either side of the cords as we knot. And here's what it looks like if we add a bead on one side, make a knot, add a bead on the other side, make a knot, and so on and so forth. And this particular piece, we actually knotted around a Sharpie and just made it so that we have little uniform gaps right there. So again, this is a really versatile, fun knot. I think you're really going to enjoy exploring some different projects with this. Please see us at antelopebeads.com for some written instructions as well as additional videos and projects. Thank you so much for watching.